Um, is this really a shock? That's the the thing. I mean, people will say whether well, this is a shock. Look, I said England would win. Win. I didn't imagine England would somehow conspire to lose to Iceland. But for my Icelandic friends out there, you guys shouldn't view this victory as like wow. If you're Icelandic, you know, yeah, this is a very big victory, somewhat surprising. But my Icelandic friends, you can beat France. Iceland can get to the semis. They don't have amazing individual quality, no superstar player. Tactically, strategically, the team ethos, the focus, the organization, this is a very well old machine. These people know exactly what they're doing and they have a system. For England, you, when you're going into a tournament, you have to know you're, you're 11. It's pretty simple. You can't be chopping and changing, chopping and changing. You have to know you're, you're 11. That's just what you are. That is the very basic thing that you should have, knowing you're 11. Um, so for Hodgson, why are you starting with Sterling? Why are you starting with Harry Kane? Harry Kane hasn't worked at this tournament before. I would assume that you'd have Vardy and Storage in, 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 in the team. Um, but the thing with England is that, uh, as what I've always said, will they finally learn now? Is this, this, this could be either, this could be the best thing that could have happened to England. Because the way England should react to this is that, be humble. Be very humble, because Iceland have taught you a very important lesson of be humble. You're not a great football nation. You should never be mentioned in the same breath as Germany, Spain, Italy, Portugal, you know, Croatia, any of these teams. You're just not on that level. Go in as underdogs. Don't go in as favorites. Don't think you can beat any team that you know you're, you're one of the. You're no longer a football nation to be feared. If you go with that and you restructure how you approach these tournaments, that England could do better because this is still a, a good team. But you've got to look at. Hodgson is not to, to, to blame. But for Hodgson, Rashford, why don't you bring him on early? You're seeing the match slip away. You're seeing nothing um, connecting. Bring in the young wildcard. You how can you give him like 10 minutes or 5 minutes? Give him, say like, look, Harry Kane, get off the pitch. It's not working for you. It's not like, you have to be brutal. Harry Kane should have been subbed off at halftime. It's not happening. You're not bringing any energy to this. He sh him and Sterling should have been taken off at halftime. You bring in Fadi and Rashford at halftime. 35 minutes, let's go. Let us just go with guys who are on it. So... And for Hudson, he has to. Act. He's going to own this. He made big, big mistakes, but I think even beyond that, um, I just feel that um, this is about Iceland. This isn't about England. This, we can't talk about. Oh, England! How can no? This is about Iceland. This is about guys who they've captured the my imagination. I feel like getting an Icelandic. Um, Jersey right right now. And please, my Icelandic brothers out there, please tell me the translation or tell me what is you guys rock in your Icelandic language so I can learn that as well. I mean, you've captured the imagination. 300,000 people, their first ever major tournament ever. Um, a nation extremely tiny. I think these guys, I think, have less people than Leicester City, a city within England. It's an incredible achievement that they're in the quarterfinals. But what I can say for, less, for um, Iceland is go and beat France. Iceland can beat France. I don't know whether they will, but same thing with this. I said, of course Iceland can beat England. I don't think they will, but it's not an impossibility. Hence why I'm not so shocked. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, okay, you know? But I'm not shocked as in like, oh my gosh, they, they beat Germany, they beat Spain, which would be like crazy. Um, but for Iceland, amazing, 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 you know, um, everybody on that team. I think Gonasin, I think they are their captain, incredible captain. And yeah, for me, like, look, man, everybody will be glued for Iceland France. And it'd be weird though, 
Because you look at France against Iceland, yes, everything will be focused on France with the hosts, but Iceland are going to get a lot of fans. Because for me, I, I would, honestly, I'll be supporting Iceland, but for me, I mean, they're the underdog. And what they've done is so amazing. So I think congratulations to Iceland. Well played. An amazing victory. A deserved victory. And for England, you have to restructure how you view this tournament. You can no longer... Because it's with pressure. It's the pressure. You can't... No, you can no longer go into the tournament as favourites. You're not favourites. You have not earned the right to be a great football nation. Those boys in 1996 earned that right. Those boys in 1986 earned that right. As in England have not been relevant since 1998. And I said that Hoddle should be the ma ma manager of England. Because he was the last good manager of England. But he have, if they can forgive him for what he said, hence why he got sacked. But it should, it should be Hoddle. But I think, you know, for England, you know... Just be humble. Be humble. Okay, accept that you, you, you cannot be mentioned amongst the same, the same category as the greats who have deserved this. Just be humble. Be humble. But no, last word, Iceland, man. The white war, war walkers, man. Guys, man, keep it going. Keep it going. Go out and beat France. Because, guys, Iceland can give France a lot of problems. The way these guys defend how they're organized, how they attack, the intelligence of how they find space and how they find people with Rami missing, Conte missing for France. Guys, we could be seeing Iceland in the semi-finals. Football is great.